What's up everybody, here we are for another tutorial and I'm sure you're gonna love this one because we're gonna make a really cool effect on this guy. First we need to mask this guy out and to mask him correctly we need to use the paint tool and we're gonna draw a path all around this guy just like this and we're gonna keep it up Okay, now you need to press escape on your keyboard to make all the path similar and after hitting escape on your keyboard you have to press control enter on your keyboard to make a selection that is gonna be more quick because now we need to make a cool selection of his hair because when we were Drawing the path with our pencil, we just mess up this hair. It was making it by purpose because now we need now to refine the edge of his hair. If you don't know how to make a good selection of hair, you can check out the our last tutorial on how to make a perfect selection of hair. Okay. That seems cool. I need now to play with the smoothness. I need to smooth a bit and then just make some feather. Okay, I'm good with this. Now I'm gonna need to the output, new layer, and layer mask. I'm gonna eat. Okay. Now, what I have to do, I need to hit C on my keyboard to make to hit a crop I need to crop it a bit I need to make it just a bit larger just like this again a bit like then oh not again okay I think it's good now I have to add this cool really cool car on this image and i just need to put him below okay just like this i need to place him a bit uh, drag it down okay and i think i need to take enough space just like this because i need to crop it again mm -hmm. okay Oh no, it sounds so look really cool. Uh, just a tiny details. I think our subject is too sharp. I need to add some noise to him because the background is a bit noisy. I just do had a quite a bit noise on him. I'm gonna hit that. Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm gonna hit OK and that's cool okay okay that's cool it's cool for me I need to add a, a bit level to make it a bit darker clip it on the subject forget and just making it just a bit darker okay I need also to make some color correction on him because it's really really reddish on his skin I'm just gonna take this one like this Imagine and just play with this because we need to make a skin tone match with the background I'm gonna clip it on the subject and also had a color balance just to tweak a tiny bit with this one and also this one mm. okay I'm satisfied I guess cool I also need to make the black more black on our subject and then I need just to 
increase the black just like this okay hmm good now we we'll have to add a uh, an exposure to him gonna make it like this now we're gonna invert the mask okay now I need to to paint some highlights cause the lights come from above just to make my brush a little bit and now start painting okay okay what i have to do now is just to add some extra glow on our image i'm gonna go on a big uh, solid color i'm gonna make it white i'm gonna invert the mask i'm gonna make my the opacity of my brush just a tiny and i'm gonna increase my brush and now it needs to paint some extra glow to make him match on our image mm. it's cool it's really cool well, well i like it so i need now to add another solid color i'm gonna pick a purple something purple pink here yeah, just okay just like this i'm gonna do something like be more brighter and I'm gonna just invert this and I'm gonna drag it above the car all right so I'm gonna take my brush I'm gonna take the opacity I'm gonna make it 100 I'm gonna take the hard brush not the smooth but the hard brush and uh, I think I need to make my brush a little bit just to make it like this something about because what i need to do i need to paint on the car some neon i need to paint some neon and my brush need to be really smaller just to be fixed in those edges just like this i think this one gonna be good so now i need to just to pick the paint tool and start drawing some path just like this don't forget when you draw your path you just to hit escape on your keyboard so once you draw a path hit escape draw path hit escape now we need to make you need to right click on it and just to fill it the stroke and we need to pick the brush hit that and hit ok mm -hmm. that's what we we were need you had to do the same on the well uh, just draw something like this we're gonna press control enter and just to fill it with the background uh, well, well that's more that's what we need that's what we were needed okay I'm gonna hit I'm gonna add another solid color I'm gonna make it now green I'm gonna make something green but much brighter I'm gonna hit ok I'm gonna invert the mask and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side of the car I'm gonna draw some path all around like this just like this okay just like this mm. But at this point, I think I need to make my brush a little bit smaller. It will take the brush, make it smaller. It was at 8, now I'll make it at 7 pixel. This is gonna be good for this part. I'm gonna fill 
little stroke and I'm gonna press OK and then I'm gonna now deal with the the well just like this draw a bath all around escape on your keyboard then now press ctrl inch or command enter hold the backspace to fill the selection okay 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 good so now we need to go on blending option we're gonna choose some inner glow because we need to add up some glow to make some glow neon and we need to pick something green because this is one this one is green we're gonna take this green we're gonna hit ok it's cool now we need to make some bubble and balls on it we need just to pick the angle the angle to make those looking like they're real neon not like there was just painting around Okay, at this angle it seems to work fine for me I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna do the same thing at the right side take it just like this OK good I'm gonna just make it a bit brighter and now what I have to do I have to add now some global glow with the same color of the neon I'm gonna make it just this I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna invert the mask boom it control G to duplicate the layer and we're gonna choose the another color we're gonna pick green because it's gonna be for our, the left side we need now to make our opacity really low we're gonna pick the soft brush we're gonna increase the size of our brush oh. now we start painting on the green side just like this mm. paint also on the pink side of the car wow wow guys this is incredible cool okay we need now to deal with some highlights on the sky it needs to be something like purple or now we just increase the light increase the light again mm -hmm. Okay, good. I need to invert invert your mask command E or control E to invert the mask. So now we need to deal with those highlights on the sky. We need to do that on the green side also we just make the same process but this one not nah, this time the color we're gonna be green this green looks perfect I'm gonna invert it and now I'm gonna start again painting to make it look so natural and soft I'm gonna just make my brush just tiny brush and now can start painting again on our subject oh, okay guys please we'll detail 
until you will feel that it's gonna be really awesome and that said i think this was really 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 intense need to forget this part like this and that's cool and that's all for today i really like to play with these photos that's it for today i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this content destroy that bell to be notified once we publish a new video and i hope i will see you on friday for our first episode of photoshop me series i hope you guys you enjoyed this and i hope i will see you in my next video thanks